He wasn't fond of his name, changed it in later life. Despite being born George Bernard Shaw in 1856, the Anglo-Irish wordsmith later dropped his Christian name and became known simply as Bernard Shaw. It is said that his distaste for the name George traces back to his childhood and that, as per his wishes, it went unused by those outside of his family. He was a vegetarian before it was trendy. Though Shaw's decision to become a vegetarian was initially believed to have been influenced by the poverty he suffered whilst living in London as a young man. His decision was later confirmed an ethical one instead of economical. His favorite recipes have since been immortalized by Alice Layden and R.J. Minnie in the George Bernard Shaw Vegetarian Cookbook, 1972. He sought to reform the alphabet, his very own version. One of the most interesting facts about George Bernard Shaw is that he has a version of the alphabet named after him known as the Shavian Alphabet or Shaw Alphabet. Unwilling to conform to the English alphabet's rules regarding spelling and punctuation, he set about creating a new, more precise phonetic version consisting of a minimum of 40 letters. Shaw was so determined for it to succeed that he left money in his will to fund its creation. Shaw's Corner is a popular attraction today. The house where George Bernard Shaw lived in Io St. Lawrence is still open to the public today and is known as Shaw's Corner. The house is very small and has one room where Shaw wrote many of his famous plays. You can also visit the gardens of the house where Shaw's ashes are spread. recipient of a Nobel Prize and an Academy Award first person to do so. Arguably the most impressive of our facts about George Bernard Shaw is that he was the first ever person to receive both a Nobel Prize and an Oscar. He earned an Oscar for Best Adapted Screenplay for the film adaptation of his play Pygmalion 1939. George Bernard Shaw died in 1950. George Bernard Shaw managed to live a very long and healthy life. He continued to write into his 90s and was still producing some excellent work. He died at the age of 94 following an unfortunate accident. He was very active in gardening and one day fell while pruning a tree at his residence. The injuries sustained from the fall eventually led to kidney failure, and this was eventually the cause of his death. His ashes, along with those of his wife, were mixed together and spread around the statues in their garden. Quotations about Bernard Shaw You see things, you say, why? But I dream things that never were, and I say why not? The reasonable man adapts himself to the world, the unreasonable one persists in trying to adapt the world to himself. Therefore, all progress depends on the unreasonable man. The single biggest problem in communication is the illusion that it has taken place. The liar's punishment is, not in the least that he is not believed, but that he cannot believe anyone else. 
Success does not consist in never making mistakes, but in never making the same one a second time. A pessimist is a man who thinks everybody. Both optimists and pessimists contribute to society. The optimist invents the aeroplane, the pessimist the parachute. Better keep yourself clean and bright. You are the window through which you must see the world. When a thing is funny, search it carefully for a hidden truth. Progress is impossible without change, and those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. Doing what needs to be done may not make you happy, but it will make you great. Do not do unto others as you would that they should do unto you. Their tastes may not be the same.